straight ahead on the 2012 NABJ short course. Find out which major retailer is hiring big. Learn about a dangerous disease hitting Florida and the sports icon comes to the Big Ben for a very serious reason. Those stories and more are coming up. Your webcast starts right now. And now, a special presentation from Florida A&M University's School of Journalism and Graphic Communication and the National Association of Black Journalists. Good evening, I'm Simone Davis. And I'm Kristen Swilly. Thanks for joining us. We begin with a developing story tonight. The Dow Jones Industrial Average closed up 35 points to end the day 13,610 Friday after beginning as much being up as much as 86 points earlier. It comes after a release of a better than expected jobs report released today. The unemployment rate dropped below 8% today for the first time in nearly four years. It stands at 7.8%. This is a potential boost for President Barack Obama's campaign for a second term, and it also boosts your chance, chances of finding a job, especially as we head off into the holiday season. Tara King joins us live in the studio with an update on which major company is hiring for the holidays. Tara? That's right, Kristen. Students could soon find themselves out of unemployment lines and with the little extra holiday spending cash. Why? Macy's is looking to hire 80,000 seasonal workers for its Macy's and Bloomingdale stores this holiday season. If you're interested, you can go to Macy'sJobs.com or Bloomingdale'sJobs.com or even visit a store near you to apply. Once you submit your application, you will receive an email response. I spoke with the man, Macy's manager at Governor Square Mall. She tells me they are looking to hire nearly two dozen people right now. I'm Tara King for the NABJ Multimedia Short Course. Thanks so much for that, Tara. Five people have died and 30 are sick because of meningitis after getting steroid injections for back pain. The Florida Department of Health has identified eight facilities in the state that received contaminated medicine from a Massachusetts specialty pharmacy that has been linked to nationwide meningitis outbreak. The DOH said in a news release Friday that the eight facilities received shipments from one or more contaminated lot numbers of this medication. The steroid was made by the New England Com Compounding Center, a pharmacy in Massachusetts. A sealed vial of the steroid obtained by the Food and Drug Administration contained dangerous levels of fungus, S symptoms including fever, chills, nausea, vomiting, and hallucinations. Well, the Agency for Healthcare Administration got a visit from basketball legend Irving Magic Johnson today. Johnson is a 12-time NBA star whose career was cut short by HIV as he has battled it for more than two decades. He has launched a second act as a businessman, and one of his latest ventures is as a health, specializes in care for people living with the disease. Johnson says he's eager to help others. American Airlines grounded 48 of its Boeing 757s for a second time after determining more repairs were needed to keep passenger seats from coming loose. American spokeswoman Andrea Hewley said repairs would be completed by Saturday, but that passengers on some flights would be delayed and that some flights would be canceled until then. Two weeks, two weeks of the NHL season is now canceled. The NHL players and owners have already lost $100 million due to the postseason cancellation. Now 82 games are cut from the regular season due to disagreements between the NHL and representatives for the Players Union. The season, which was scheduled to start October 11th, will now start October 24th. Even though the city of Tallahassee is covered in pink for breast cancer, there's another major push on as well, the fight against heart disease. Heart disease kills more Americans every year, claiming more than 800,000 lives. Tomorrow, the American Heart Association will be hosting a 5K heart walk to bring awareness to heart disease, stroke, and various other cardiovascular related diseases. The 5K walk is a free event and will be held at Tom Brown Park tomorrow at 9 a.m. Thanks for joining us. 
and have a great night and we'll have another web update coming soon. Take care.